What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, chilling out and relaxing. And um, while I'm doing that, I need to be, you know, taking care of some business right now. But just wanted to let y'all know, Floyd Mayweather has made an offer to Conor McGregor for a boxing fight, $50 million, to take place on New Year's Eve. Which, if if I'm mistaken, that is what I heard. New Year's Eve, at the end of this year, and he's got to take the offer back to Dana White. It'll be in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. I'm not sure about a New Year's Eve fight. That's just, to me, it's just... I know a lot of people will be in Las Vegas because New Year's period, but that's like party time. You know, that's not boxing fight time. But I was trying to go over this with a lot of different people and seeing, like, is this just a jab at Dana White because they're looking to go into the promotional side and the managerial side of MMA fighters and poaching the talent by offering them this type of money will change the way the UFC does business. See, everything that... Conor McGregor does is responsible by Dana White in the UFC and even if he says I retire it doesn't mean he can go and fight somewhere else and do things because of the way their contract is structured and the same thing happened with Anderson Silva and Roy Jones Roy Jones and Anderson Silva wanted to fight each other because he's like look I, you'll be getting paid way more money like four or five times the amount he was getting paid in the UFC and what had happened is it forced Dana White to up the ante with Anderson Silva to keep him from trying to get out his contract, wait until his contract was over, to go and fight Roy Jones Jr. And unfortunately for Roy, Roy kept losing at that time. So it took away from the luster of the promoters putting up the money for the event, saying they didn't think the event was going to get any money off of the... Um, venue but Dana White kept that from happening the same way he's going to stop this from happening and I don't know what to tell people I mean people are very excited about it I but now you're looking at a fight that's a hundred and fifty million dollars like Pacquiao numbers Pacquiao Mayweather type numbers of payout up front for a boxing fight like this and I'm like, wow, who's going to be willing to pay all this money? Like, I'm I'm thinking it does one point, I'm saying a 1.2, 1.3 million and pay-per-view buys. They're looking at 2 million three. Their projections from pay-per-view for that fight is in the 2 million bracket. They're thinking this is going to do Pacquiao numbers. And I'm shocked, but it might do. I mean, I mean... The MMA world, you know, those fans are very stupid, too. They just love the action. And Conor McGregor, whatever he fights, they come out. I've seen that happen. So when Mayweather fights, even though it looks like the dumbest decision in the world, this is if they can pull off this great white hype thing, I'm going to laugh all my way to the, <laughs> to the event to watch the first round knockout. So... I'm going to leave right now because I got some errands to run. Uh, we'll talk later. I got more videos coming. And I think you will enjoy. I'm out.